Hey everybody, Carl Owen here. Today, just follow along with me, uh, we're gonna look at the very first billet crankshaft that I've ever touched or seen. So just follow along and I'm gonna just check it out. The crankshaft to the left is the Magnum small block Chevy. The one I'm opening up is the billet, shipped in a bigger box, I guess just for more padding. We'll just get it out of the packaging and put it up on the uh, work table so we can get a good view of it. All right, here we have my first look. First thing I notice is the great amount of polish. I didn't know it was actually gonna come polished. Notice the center counterweights. That's an addition and there's a lot of shipping oil so you can't really look at the degree of polish for the journals, for the main and the rod journals. There's a close up. You see those center counterweights. You can see the gun drill mains there. So right in the middle of every main journal is a gun drill. At the Kelly's website, they say the Ultra Billet is available in standard 4.400 or spread bore 4.500, any stroke from 2.6 to 4.5 inch, big block Chevy post, small block Chevy post, various keyways, uh, various flange styles, the full round or the, the star, all journal sizes, all main sizes, eight or six counterweights. From the Timken website, Para Premium is the uh, steel the billet steel built to the AMS 2304 standard. Okay, so why would anyone want to get one of these billet crankshafts? That's a good question. It's really, if you're a hot rodder, it's what you want to put in your motor. These things cost maybe a thousand dollars more than a Magnum custom crankshaft. So if you're making a hot rod motor for maybe a supercharger, turbo, nitrous, might as well go ahead and spend the money. This thing will be dramatically stiffer and less prone to uh, cracks. I just wanted to give you a look at it. The same time I had my very first look at this really interesting hot rod part. All right, this is Carl Elwine from Elwine Engines. Take care. Mm -hmm. 